So today we're discussing AGM units. What that stands for is anesthetic gas modules. These come in all different shapes and sizes, but they're all going to be used in one type of setting. And that's going to be in an operating room or a surgical suite of some sort. So these are going to be measuring the respired side from the patient. So what they're breathing out. And so the basic principle and setup is that you have an anesthesia machine producing or taking the anesthetic agents, administering them to the patient. The patient is then going to breathe out their standard respired airway gases, O2, N2O, CO2. And in addition to those, a small portion or some portion of the anesthetic agents. So now the physician or the anesthesiologist can actually see how much is being absorbed by that patient. Do they need to change any of the levels that are being administered based off what that patient's respiring out? Okay, so some of the, the more common gases that these are gonna measure are gonna be desflurane, sevoflurane. There's a mixture of others that, that can be included, but those are definitely the two most common. So here we're looking at a Philips AGM product this is going to be their M1019A, also called a G5. Um, so this one's very robust product, has the ability to measure all the different gas types. It even has ability to auto ID which type of anesthetic agents are being used. Uh, so this thing's going to be used in conjunction with that standard patient monitor, so an MP or MX series monitor and this will be plugged in somehow some way right below it these have the table mount prongs in the bottom and then this would be connected to that patient and their respired airway gases would be fed into the product this fancy little plastic looking thing on the front is a water trap so anytime you hear trap or specifically water trap it's just going to be catching any kind of liquids that would be res respired out or breathed out by that patient before it goes into the internal features of the product as that wears it down a little quicker. So we want to have the water trap on front. These typically need to be replaced or changed out or cleaned out uh, very often. And then these also need to be PM. So different types of products or manufacturers or makes, they actually call for different types of PMs. And so that's going to be something that the biomeds are going to be looking at. So here we're looking at the Philips M1026B AGM. So this is one of their older style units, as you can see, pretty massive. And they did call these things and still do pizza boxes if they're running them, just because of the way it looks. So um, very standard in the Philips line, you're gonna have that, that water trap up in the front that's gonna catch any kind of the humidity or liquid that's being respired from the patient before it goes into the product. These are getting a little uh, older and you don't see them as much, but they are still out there for sure. There's also one version before this called the 1026A. And so this is just a slight update to that one, but both very similar in, in the style and the way that they look. So that's the Philips M1026B. Here we're looking at two GE Datex Omeda AGMs. We have one that is the ECOVX. A very popular one as well would be the ECAIO or C-A-I-O-V. So as soon as you interchange those letters, it's just gonna mean that they have a couple of differences between either the gases that they measure or if they have spirometry, or maybe one of them can measure oxygen and the other one cannot. So this one over here in my left hand is spirometry. And then this one is that E-C-O-V-X. 